Welcome back Sunday School students to Sunday School Online. This is our special after Christmas class where we are going to take, you guessed it, our quiz in the form of Christmas Jeopardy. I am your teacher for this session, Deaconess Robin Miller, and I come to you by way of the Greater Bethlehem Temple Apostolic Church located in Cincinnati, Ohio, in the community of Northside where Bishop James Chapman is our pastor. Our first lady, Lady Robin Chapman, and where we proudly proclaim as a church community, there is a God in Bethlehem and Jesus is his name. Now, as is my custom, I'm going to go ahead and do our announcements while everybody gets settled in and while you prepare yourself for this quiz. As a reminder, we have other Sunday School classes on our YouTube channel, and that is GBTAC Cincinnati. You can find classes for our primary age students where Sister Casey Fisher is taking them on an adventure. Our intermediate classes where Sister Tere Deloach is putting something on their mind. And also our teen videos where Sister Charlene Davis, Sister Sonia Wilson, they are challenging our teens to think for themselves and on the Word of God, its application in their life in this culture. Adults, you aren't left out. Your Sunday school class takes place every Sunday morning, 9 o'clock a.m., as the Lord allows. We have Cracker Jack teachers that break down the word and help us apply it to our everyday lives. Now, you can find that information on our website, gbtac.org, along with our office telephone number, Perhaps you want to call and make an appointment to speak with Bishop James Chapman and let him know you have been stopping by the temple. Also our prayer line. Maybe you would like one of our pastors to pray with you, to talk about this plan of salvation with you. That telephone number is there. Our uh, excuse me, our food pantry information is also there. And the groups that are a part of the Greater Bethlehem Temple Apostolic Church. You can find that information on our website. And lastly, you are cordially invited to join us at the temple. 4781 Hamilton Avenue. We are back to in-person services where we are also following COVID practices wearing our masks, using hand sanitization, and separating six feet apart. And there is room for you. If you're unable to join us in person, then please be advised we do broadcast our live worship experience every Sunday morning at 11 o'clock a.m. and Tuesday evening Bible class at 7 o'clock p.m. as the Lord allows. Perhaps you don't feel comfortable coming out at this time. Join us during our live stream. And that happens via Facebook, GBTAC Cincinnati YouTube channel and also on our website, um, GBTAC.org. Sorry, had a brain freeze for a moment there. So with that said, let's go ahead into our class. As you can see, this is our class for our quiz and we're doing it Jeopardy style, which actually is jumping ahead of me. We're doing it Jeopardy style. So we have our four categories, things I learned, and that's actually short for things I learned in Sunday school. We have questions from our fall quarter, our winter quarter, and oh yes, I did throw it in there from homework. We have our categories of 100 uh, make-believe dollars, 200 make-believe dollars, and 300 make-believe dollars all the way across the board, ending in our final Jeopardy. So we're going to go ahead and get started and use the first question from things I learned in Sunday school as an example so that we know how the rest of the class is going to end up or how it's going to go. So for 100 make-believe dollars, things I learned in Sunday school, true or false, God makes our decisions for us 
and forces us to accept his will. So as you can see, I am not playing Jeopardy music. I'm playing Christmas music in my background. And the other thing is, is that I'm not going to require you to present your answer in the form of a question. Just go ahead and say your answer, true or false. Okay, so let's find out what that correct answer is. It is false. God does not force us to make a decision. He gives us the information of what blessings accompany that decision and what consequences accompany that decision. And he leaves it with us. Okay, so that's how it's going to look for our quiz. So let's get started. And to make it simple, we're just going across the board. So we did things I learned in Sunday school for 100 make-believe dollars. So now we're going to do fall for 100 make-believe dollars. The question is, true or false? A little disobedience to God is okay versus a lot. Okay, answers locked in. Let's see what the, what the correct answer is. That is false. A little or a lot, it's the same across the board for God. Disobedience is disobedience, period. Okay, next question. So under winter, under winter quarter for 100 make-believe dollars, which two holidays go together like salt and pepper? like peanut butter and jelly. Oh, we just had this one, didn't we? Okay, answers locked in, here we go. Christmas and Easter, absolutely. Jesus was born, that's the time that we celebrate Christmas, to die on the cross for our sins and for us to be redeemed. That's the time that we celebrate Easter. So Christmas and Easter, how are you doing so far? Are you getting them across the board? Well, here's another chance. Under 100 make-believe dollars for homework. What is the event that separates the Old and the New Testaments? Yes, I know. We just talked about this one too. So this one is relatively fresh. Okay, answers locked in. Here we go. Jesus' birth. There we are. Okay. So next. So now we're down to 200 and I will tell you, make believe dollars that is. <laughs> I will tell you, your teacher has been having a little trouble with this one. So I'm going to skip 200 make believe dollars under things I learned and we're going to fall. So for 200 make believe dollars under fall. Moses' relationship with God provided many examples. Pride, self-will, and arrogance. Is this true or false? Okay, answers locked in. Here we go. That is false. When we study Moses' relationship with God, we saw that he was a humble man. He was on his knees before God's people. That he relied on God to give him direction on how to lead and care for God's people. And that he always went back to God. So that was false. I didn't get you on that one. Okay. Underwent her for 200 make-believe dollars. And hopefully you're keeping this, um, keeping your account for the questions that you get right. And the question is, true or false, or excuse me, not true or false. This is fill in the blank. Sin demands payment for wrongs. What is our payment for sin? Fill in the blank for that answer. Okay, answer's locked in. Here we go. Jesus' sacrifice on the cross is our payment for sin. Okay, so moving on to the homework. Hmm. So for 200 make-believe dollars, name one way the woman with the alabaster box, I'm sorry, that's a typo, should be alabaster box, is similar to Jesus' sacrifice. 
Mmm, a little bit of a toughie, huh? Okay, answers locked in. Here we go. So this one, I have multiple answers for because there were multiple answers that could answer the question. So if your answer isn't on the board, but you recall us talking about it during class, it is acceptable and you can award yourself the make-believe dollars as points. So just to go over just a few of the ones that I listed, her uh, sacrifice was pure. It was without mixture. Jesus' sacrifice was without sin. It was pure. It was humble. Jesus' sacrifice, he came as our lowly king. Her sacrifice was for someone else. Just as Jesus didn't die for himself, he was without sin. He died for the world. He died for other people. And her, her sacrifice affected everyone in the room. And as I stated, Jesus died for the world. His sacrifice was for everyone external to himself. So if you had something different, if you recall us talking about it in class, or if your mom, dad, sibling, grandma, grandpa helped you out, then that's fine. Award yourself the points. Just be honest about it, okay? Okie dokie then. So... For 300 make-believe dollars. Let's see what is under things I learned in Sunday school. So true or false, God's word can be applied to my everyday life. Hmm. Okay, answer is locked in. Here we go. Answer, please. That is true. God's word was written for our learning and it is our roadmap. So that's true. Okay, fall quarter. Oh, we're just moving along. Great job. Hopefully you're getting the answers. So for 300 make-believe dollars under fall, who is our high priest? Hmm... You remember we studied this back during the time of Moses and Aaron being the first high priest and Aaron's sons. So, okay, that was enough time. Answers locked in. <laughs> Here we go. Correct answer, please. Jesus, he is our high priest. He intercedes for us. Okay. Under 300. Did we just do this one? I'm sorry. I lost my place. Let me see. 300 make-believe dollars under fall. Oh, we already did that one. I apologize. Let's move forward. Under 300 make-believe dollars under winter. So here's the question. God's people showed courage during hard times. This means they weren't scared when faced with difficulties. Mmm. That's why the point value is higher for this one. Okay, answers locked in. Correct answer, please. That is a false statement. They made the decision to trust God rather than act in fear. So it wasn't that they weren't afraid. They decided to lean on their experience with Jesus and their knowledge that he would take care of them, that he would not fail them. So last question on the board for 300 make-believe dollars under homework. Let's see what it asks. Jesus came to be born as a king that we may worship him. True or false? Jesus came to be born as a king that we may worship him. True or false? Okay, answers locked in. Correct answer, please. Jesus came to be a sacrifice and die for our sins on the cross. So that is false. Okay, great job, students. So I hope that you had fun with this. I hope that you were able to answer the questions, at least the majority of them correctly. So with that, we're moving to our final Jeopardy. Here we go. So for final Jeopardy, how many of the 66 books of the Bible points to Jesus? 
Ah, okay. Yes, yes. Gonna have to rack your brain a little bit for this one. How many of the 66 books of the Bible point to Jesus? So I'm going to do my little rendition. I'm going to do the Jeopardy song and give you a little time to think. Okay, ready? Do, 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 do. Uh oh, I'm dropping stuff, sorry. Do 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 Okay, that's the end. That's enough time. Here we go. Correct answer, please. All 66. The Bible from, it should say from cover to cover or from front to back, is about Jesus. The Bible is about the way that he made for us, his love that he has for us, how his love pursues us, and how he yearns for us to be in relationship with him. So all 66 books of the Bible point to Jesus. Oh, wow. Hopefully you got that one correct and that I didn't trick you. Hopefully, like I said, you had fun and you were able to get something out of this quiz. So with that, students, that was the end of our quiz. And I wish you a very happy, a very merry, a very prosperous and a very safe and healthy new year. And why am I doing that? Because the next time we get together, if the Lord allows, it will be January the 2nd, 2022. Oh my goodness. Yes, we will be together in the new year, if the Lord allows. And for that session, we will be covering two classes since this class was for our quiz, we're going to have two summarized lessons. One will be, Jesus was born to serve, and that will be found in Philippians chapter 5, or excuse me, chapter 2, verse 5 through 11. John chapter 13, verses 12 through 17. And we'll continue in our study of Jesus under the title, The Way, The Truth, and The Life. And that will be found in John chapter 14, verses 1 through 11. And I encourage you as we go into this new year that you count your blessings for 2021. The things that you did have and thankfully the things that you didn't have. God is so very good to us. Please think about those things. And with that said, I leave you with my borrowed saying from Veggie Tales: God made you special and he loves you very much. I'll see you on the next time, students. Bye.